you guys, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Dare Down. Nice to be back. I'll be your host for today, as always. Bam, having a good time here today, and we're going to talk about a lot of things, man. So now we have the summer of Smash happening, and that's going to be coming up soon. But of course, with every summer, we have, of course, E3. And so E3 is going to be especially particularly really big for everyone because of this little device right here. And everyone wants to see what is gonna happen, wants to see if Nintendo is gonna do it really big. They have a lot of IPs out right now that people are excited for and a potential ones coming out too. So let's take a look, man. Let's take a look at some of the footage. I know the one that everyone has been talking about is of course, ARMS. ARMS has been a super major one. Everyone's just, this is what they people wanna play. Uh, it's a really good game. It's one of the first kind of major fighting games like truly intended for esports that we're seeing come out for Nintendo. So a lot of people are thinking like, what? how is this game going to be? How is this going to play? And I can say already from times that I've been able, I played it at, of course, a CEO of Dreamland. I've been able to play at other places as well. And the game is damn fun. Not only damn fun, but it it is deserving of being an esport. It has the fundamentals that you're looking for. There's a ton of gameplay modes as well. And that's something that people are like really excited about. Having a complete package, something that can adhere to the casual market and be very simple, kind of have a kind of a steeper, like in terms of like learning curve, but they want to have it in a way where it's like, it's still manual. Like I can take it up, pick it up and I can play it and have a good time. But then once you learn the intricacies of it, you're like, wow, this game can have so much depth. And that's what people are seeing from this game that right now. And I think that's what people want to see. They want to know that Nintendo, if they're trying to do a bonafide eSport, how they're going to go about it. And right now, this game looks like it could be one of the big dogs up there with Splatoon. And of course, the game they're, you know, warming up to in Super Smash Brothers. So speaking of Smash Brothers, like we said, we have a ton of tournaments happening. The Summer Smash is upon us. And one of the tournaments that we're going to be looking at in general is of course the big house so the big house seven this has always been in a phenomenal series throughout throughout the time man if you are a smasher you know about big house and it's one of our su crazy super major of course juggle Lion, and those guys always doing phenomenal work out there and this series is coming back again and they're just going to hit it harder hit it better and especially with the time now where we're seeing a rise of smash esports we want to see these super majors, what they want to bring, what they're going to bring to the table. And I know people are really excited about this tournament, this event. You're going to have a lot of big names out there. This is where people kind of make their names known. And especially now that we have, you have Evo coming on the rise. There's going to be, I'm sure, some a ton of exciting news out there for Evo. And everyone's going to see Smash just grow even more so. So these things just get better and better, not just because these TOs are getting better at their craft and honing their talents, but also at the same time, we're seeing the scene, the community as a whole build up, and that's what people want to see. And of course, we have right around the horizon, that's actually going to be right before E3. So if you guys are trying to go to E3, you know, I think you need to stop by Esports Arena, of course, where I'm at in Santa Ana, California. That's going to be Nairo Saga, and that's going to be a tournament that's going to pay homage to NRG's own Nairo. One of the, if not the most popular Smash 4 player out to date. And of course, he's got the Naifu Nation on deck. These guys, they've been wanting to see this for a long time. They were like waiting for a time where they can see Nairo go at it. And Nairo made a promise in Civil War. If you guys didn't know, this man made a promise. He said that the curse is going to end at Nairo Saga. So... Now that we have Nairo Saga really a week away at this point, we gotta look at the talent that's gonna be there. We already know that we're gonna have the previous champion or our most recent champion, C9's own ally is gonna be at this event. We know Zero, TSM Zero, and I know for Zero especially, this guy has been telling everyone the moment he knew there was a Nairo Saga, he said to himself, I'm not letting anyone win that but me. He wasn't able to win his own saga that happened in the past December. And he was one of the people that were favored to actually do it. Right now, the closest person to actually winning their own saga was 
false. And his incredible play that we saw at False Awakens. But now, in 2GDC, we have Nairo Saga. Nairo has made a promise to all the Naifus out there, and I know a ton of them are coming in droves because they want to see if this man can do it. So that's right now, that's what we're looking at as we're moving forward into the Summer Smash, and I know it's going to be so good. I'm so excited from what we're going to see from Nintendo, what we're going to see from ARMS, and their kind of esports initiative as it moves out, and see how Smash is going to actually fit into this all ecosystem that they're building right now. We have Big House 7 that they're gonna do it ridiculous well as always. And of course, 2GGC, Naira Saga, the second finale that we're having in the 2GGC. So that's gonna be all about the news today. I'm Bam, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and most importantly, have a damn good day.